Hey, this is this is Drunk driving on a Wednesday with three bitches in it. What else? Half a gallon of Jody Budgie and cranberry. Welcome to another episode of Brooklyn Bound. Today we are joined by Mr. Motherfucking Esquire. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you for having me. I got to see you rock uh, recently at this um this like boiler room party, this underground party. Okay. Yeah. It's some some joint downtown. Yeah, yeah I remember. Killed it. Crazy. I appreciate that. We, have you been doing a lot of shows lately? Uh, yeah, I just got a tour with Killer Mike and LP and Death Spot. And um, since I came home, I've been doing a little festivals and just working. I'm about to hit the road again with Smoke Dizza. Flatbush Zombies and um. Are you recording on the road as well? Nah, I don't really record on the road. I, I I don't really write rhymes like that. I probably write rhymes like twice a month. So. Are you like somebody who doesn't really like record outside or prepare music like outside of the studio? Yeah, I don't really do that. I just rap. You like, wait till you get in there okay. and then. I I more so collect concepts. I walk down the street and I just collect ideas. I'll be like, oh, this is a song. Oh, this room reminds me of a song. You know, I did a song called Revolving Door one time because I was staying in a revolving door and I was like, oh, it's weird how people come in and out. And then the song's about how like women came in and out of my life. So it's like, you know what I mean? Just shit like that. I just get ideas when I walk around. But I don't really write until I write. Right. Yeah. So another way that I feel like, uh, you know, you've been able to gain some traction in the music business is like your style. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Crazy style, different style. Oh, thank you. Eccentric style. Thank you. You got the slugs in right now. Thank you. When did you get your first pair of slugs? I got these maybe about 20. I had, I had gold teeth in my mouth for about seven years now. Yeah. Yeah. So how about this jacket, man? This is, you, you worldwide. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. I'm on my world shit. This album is my world album. You know what I mean? I'm doing my Acorn on this album. So I got, um, I got the world on my back. You know what I mean? Just, mm -hmm. What is it that, you know, dictates how you dress? Is it just um, mood or? Mood, but also vision. Sometimes I might wear like a, a fucking onesie. I, I, <laughs> I have two onesies. Like, you know, I might wear some shit like that or I might, I might wear some weird shit, some pink shit. Like, depending on like my vision for that day, I just dress according to my mood. I try to keep it real chameleon-like. Like, never see me look the same twice. It always, it's always a different vibe, always a different look. So I understand that you brought some stuff with you. Yeah, um, yeah. It's like, talk, talk about that. Like, where's, where's it come from? Or? Um, it's stuff I bought off tour. I was on tour, and, you know, little things I had. This right here, this is like a, uh, this is a flask. I wear this shit sometimes because I like to drink. You wear it? Yeah, I wear this sometimes. How do you, rock, how do you wear it? I got a little clip on it. Okay. See it right there? It's like a little clip. This is a shirt I bought in Canada. I thought this shit was super sexy. I wear this shit with no shirt on. That shit is sexy as hell. This is, a, this is a jacket I made. I always make these little track jackets and shit, and I put like the African print on them, down the sleeves, on the pockets, and shit like that. I so, so you design as well? I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't call it designing. I, I'm not that good. I just do shit Give I like. Give yourself some credit, man. Give yourself the props. That's nah. it. You designed the jacket. Eh, I guess. It's just a dashiki, which is like my favorite shirt in the world. Everybody knows I love dashikis, and this is a new one I got. I got this when I was in, uh, I was in Ottawa. I was in Ottawa, Canada. I seen this, and I bought it. Does it take you a long time to put an outfit together? Yeah, that's why I was late today. <laughs> <laughs>